Hey guys, I just out here vibing on my front porch. I don't want to like show you all in my neighborhood really, just because you know privacy reasons. But yeah, just kind of vibing out here. I kind of figured I would. I uh, like don't worry. I got my beater with me. My beater alien, you know. I figured I would go ahead and make you guys a quick tutorial on uh, basically my combo and a little underhand fan. So first my combo. This is my combo. It's what I normally do on a, on, a, on a daily like Instagram basis, I guess. Uh, it's a behind the eight ball to index and thumb roll over to this little like grip right here. I don't even know what to call this. Like a vertical start, just like a behind the eight ball, but like but like not. I call it the inverse, like the opposite inverse scissor kind of thing. And then you basically have it like this, and then flick it up like a rebound, do a rebound, and then do a Y2K, and then you basically here. And then start getting right to my head. I just hit my AirPod. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get, take it off actually. Uh, so you're in this position, and then you know it takes like this to, to a regular scissor. But you know I'm dumb, and I can't use scissor 100% of the time. So let's see here. Ugh. Nope. There we go. Scissor to basically a chaplain to like one of these things, whatever. Like kind of like a tour letter. Don't know Y2K to basically literally whatever ending you want. I like to use an ice pick aerial to uh, underhand fan to closing. So how it is for me? Oh, I just kind of scratched myself on my leg. Stupid concrete eye uh, markings. So waiting on my um, AliExpress Kraken cone to ship. I think the Balasong gods were just like, no, you don't get this clone. Like, I'm gonna beat it. Who cares? Anyway, uh, so yeah, let's start with this. So basically, all you're gonna wanna do is behind the eight ball. What well, you need to know for this tutorial, actually, is behind the eight ball and extra over, which is this. Uh, you're gonna need to know the zener over, which is this. And then you're gonna need to know what else you're gonna need to know. The, the scissor, the chaplain, and let's see what else is there. Let's see, I, I actually do the combo, just because, you know. Uh, this, uh, you're going to need to know the rebound, the Y2K, the scissor, of course, as, as I said, the chaplain, and whatever that move was right there, to, yeah, but I'm going to teach you guys how to, how to do, how to do most of that, uh, I'm going to be doing an Alan Ryan fan tutorial, this, in the exact same video, so, what I want to do is, I, uh, behind the eight ball, right, and after you grab that, it's gonna be kind of a short tutorial, by the way. So, so behind the A ball, right? Sorry, my this thing is all like stretched up. So, behind the A ball, and I want you to get to like this position right here, where you're kind of holding it like this, I guess. You're basically gonna whip, whip around your uh, your index finger like an index rollover, which is the index rollover. So, once again, uh, behind the A ball, and then whip around your index finger. So, it's like this. Ugh. I'm glad I'll, I'm up on my beater. Let's just say that. There we go. And then once you're in this position right here, uh, after you do the index rollover, you're, you're gonna kinda like whip it around sort of like that. So let's, get, let's see here if I can actually do it again. Ugh, I kinda screw up my, uh, my mind ankle. So yeah, you want to get into this group. After you're done with that, I throw it out over your thumb like a zen rollover and do a zen rollover. And you're probably gonna do like a wrist pass or something. So yeah, all, uh, th those three moves over again. Behind the eight ball. Of course, I can't do my behind the eight ball right on camera. Uh, behind the eight ball. Index roll over. Dad gummit. Uh, okay, so index roll over. Frick. Behind the eight ball. Index roll over. Thumb roll over. And then once you get to here, once you get done with your wrist pass, I guess. Once you get done with this little thing right here, the, the wrist pass, I guess. Or like the um, momentum reducer or whatever. Uh, basically. Sorry, we're going for that bird to shut up. Anyway. Uh, you're gonna want to get in, in this position, which is what which is what, what I like to call the opposite inverse scissor. I'm just gonna call that from now on. Uh, it's basically you have you have to buy handle. You're holding the buy handle. All you want to do is grab it like this, and then remove your th remove your thumb and put your index finger on top of here. That's all you want. That's all you're gonna do. Sorry, that's, that's all you're gonna do. Sorry, my voice is like odd. I don't know why. Uh, what is this bird? Shut up. <laughs> okay, so once you're in the inverse opposite scissor. You're gonna basically flick it up like this, and then do a rebound pretty much, which is basically just putting your thumb underneath here, and then like turning it like this, and basically doing a whip, all that kind of like a whip around, you know, like a like you know that to a y two to a y two k, 
but be in mind, we're all, so we're here, right? You're gonna do the whip around, and then you're gonna be holding the, uh, you're gonna be holding the by handle, so be careful if you're on a live blade. I'm more trainer, so I don't have to be careful. Uh, but watch okay, and once you get to here, uh, you have the, I'll just do it, I'll close the camera real quick. Once you're here, uh, if it's the same side, so all you gotta do is throw it up and toe scissor. Easy peasy. Uh, now, of course, the scissor is not a very easy trick to learn. It took me about three to four days. Ask Jacob Salty like 14. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna call him Jacob from now on. Uh, you, could, you could ask Jacob. Uh, yeah, it took me forever to learn. Uh, but yeah, once you once you the scissor, all, all you're gonna do is throw it around like this. And yeah, do a basic uh, jack one. And then whatever this move is, basically just like doing this, kind of like a, kind of like a finger twirl, I guess. I, I don't remember, maybe it's a twirl ladder. I could be very, very wrong on that. But yeah, you're gonna do this, then grab it like this, and then basically you just trade fingers. And then I and then I usually like to like throw it up like this, grab it, and then do a Y2K, and then back up. That's basically that. And then after that, let's see if I can do this. So, on the end, once all those together are combined, it basically just looks like this. So behind the apple, index, thumb roll over, opposite inverse scissor, rebound to Y2K, or whip around, whatever you want to call it. Uh, scissor, chaplain, this little twirl thingy, the little rollover, to, yeah, whatever you want to uh, However you want to catch it. So yeah, I usually like to either do, uh, I gotta redo this thing now, because I'm just like that. I don't care if it's sloppy for this. Nice. Uh, but yeah, you can literally end it off however you please. I will usually, I will usually end it off either in a Helix to Ice Pick catch, Helix L to Ice Pick catch, an Ice Pick Aerial, or just regular Aerial. So, like your Aerial, Aspect aerial, and then, oh gosh, I can't really do a helix aerial that good. But yeah, do a helix aerial, if I can actually, if I can land it, you know. Like, woo. There we go, I can't land that. That was satisfying. Anyway, uh, so yeah, and then after I'm done with that, whatever, sometimes I'll just like, I'll do this little turning motion. You know, I'll just kind of like, it's a slight aerial, basically, I'm grabbing it like this, and then I'm kind of like, you know, tossing it to where it like, ends up like this. All, all I'm gonna do is a is a uh, underhand fan, whip around my finger, and back up, and that's where this tutorial comes in the um, the underhand fan part. So all you're gonna do for the for the underhand fan, it's all momentum based really. Uh, it takes a good while to get it down, but all you're gonna want to do is hold it like this. I will usually hold the safe side, the safe handle right here, and the back handle like this. All you're gonna want to do is I uh, hold it like this. And basically got get your thumb basically just you know like push it and roll at the same time all you gotta do is push it it's not that hard well i'm saying that because i learned it but of course it can be hard for you uh probably so yeah uh kind of let go with your you know kind of push this out of the way push the, the by handle out of the way and just roll the, the safe handle and once you get seriously once i learned i like if i'm being real like uh, when i was learning this I literally had it like this, and I was literally just doing this. But now, I can literally do the underhand fan on literally anything I please. So yeah, into a little whip around to close. So, yeah. So in all, it looks like this. And that, you know, by the way, for that whip, whip around, or well, the underhand fan, that's how I like to close my uh, combos, but, you know. Anyway, so, this is, how, this is how it looks all in general. Sorry if it looks crappy, I'm not really focusing on it right now. But I am at the same time. See, I just, I just didn't land the scissor, because I'm just that dumb. Top one, twirl thingy, and then usually if I want to, um, if I want to do the underhand fan to, to land it, I usually ice pick aerial it and then do the twirl, whip around and close. So yeah, and all it looks like this. And I promise this is probably my last time saying this. I could be wrong though. Oh, ah, come on. It's uh, my little flashy combo that I, that I use in pretty much all of my Instagram videos and uh, 
like while, while I'm in calls with people, like I'll literally just be sitting there and just constantly, I'll either be doing the index and thumb roll, roll over, uh, like, you know, if anything, just because it looks nice. I, but you know, every once in a while, I'll, I'll just whip out a, a Splix combo, is what I'm gonna call it. I'll just whip out a Splix combo. If I can even maintain everything in the process. Come on, I can do this. I can do my own combo. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was not the right thing. <laughs> okay, scissor. Woo. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And then there we go. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's basically my combo. Uh, took me about, uh, I guess, maybe a week or two to like teach myself, I guess, or like make up. So yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, and yeah, sorry for the later upload. <laughs> yeah, see you guys in the next video. As always, eat.